Hi, my name is Justin Devlin. I'm a mechanical engineer at Autometer Products, focused primarily on NASCAR gauges and tack. I'd like to spend some time today to talk a little bit about some of the new features that we've added to our NASCAR Pit Road Speed Tack. This video is intended to help you set up and configure your Autometer Pit Road Speed Tachometer in order to display uh, your Pit Road Speed RPMs as a driver would like to see them down pit road. One of the first things that has been changed, we have added a feature where you will be able to determine which lighting sequence you would like to use. We have the traffic light as an option which goes green, yellow, and then red followed by the flashing red. And with the latest set of firmware, you'll have the ability to change that to the standard, which would go yellow, green, red. In order to do that, you would go into, on the pick controller, you would go into the main menu. Using the mode button, you would toggle through until you get to TRLT, which stands for traffic light. Hitting the enter button is just a toggle between on and off. Off would be um, the standard and then on would be the traffic light sequence. Once I have done that, I will go and update the tack. When you hit the update button, the tack will confirm that by flashing the five indicator lights green, just like that. And now the lighting sequence will be yellow, green, red as the standard. One of the other things that has been introduced is a progressive lead in to the uh, shift point. Once you reach um, an RPM level above 9000, the lights will come on individually leading up to your shift point where the dial will change to red. And this is uh, set up in the bands menu which we will discuss in a few minutes. In order to connect your PIC controller into your TAC, the first thing you need to do is unplug the power harness that is installed in the back of your TAC and then you are going to plug in to the power harness into the PIC wire harness and then also the PIC harness into the back of the TAC. When you first connect the PIC to your TAC, it will come up with the version of the software, the dash lines, and then a red command which indicates that it read, successfully read the data from the TAC. The first menu item that shows up is RTD, which is read TAC data, in case you need to reread any items that were set up in the TAC. In order to get to the next menu item, you need to hit the mode button that shows the peak in order to display your peak RPM, you hit the enter button and that will show the latest peak that was stored. You can also clear that by hitting the mode button. And you can also show and clear your peak through the button interface on the TAC. After the peak menu, you'll hit the mode button again. This goes to the shift point menu. Hitting the enter button will get you into that menu. The first option that becomes available is PRSR, which is your pit road speed RPM. If you hit the enter button, it displays the current RPM value for your pit road speed. Pushing the mode button or the up arrow will increase the RPM. Enter or the down arrow will decrease your RPM. And then you hit the return after you've set your RPM value to go back to the pit road speed menu. The next option in the shift point menu is the shift point. This is where the dial will change from white to red at a higher RPM value. If you hit enter, that'll display your current value. Again, up and down arrows to adjust what that value is. Hit return to go back to the menu. The mode button will then show your overworn shift point, which is where the dial will start flashing. Once again, enter button will display what that value is, up arrow and down arrow to increase or decrease that value. 
The next menu you'll find is the PPR menu, which is the pulses per revolution menu. That will allow you to adjust um, the number of pulses from four to uh, whatever value you would like. The standard is a four pulse for a V8, and unless you change from a V8 to some other engine, you'll never need that menu item. The next menu item is your bands. Now this menu will allow you to adjust the bandwidth for all of your pit road speed RPM windows as well as the lead-in, shift point, and a new menu item called hysteresis which adjusts the flickering effect that you may see. Once you're in the bands menu, the first option is the low band. If you hit enter, it displays the current value which can be adjusted to one RPM resolution for your low band which depending on the lighting sequence would either be the green or the yellow. Next would be the go band which is um, either the yellow or the green depending on the lighting sequence that you have. Again that can be adjusted by hitting the enter button up and down arrows. The next one is the high band. This is the first red window. It's a solid red color and that band can also be adjusted in the same way. The next band is the too high. That is the red window where it would start to flash um, red at the driver. The next menu item is the progressive shift light option. This is the lead-in to your shift point where the dial will remain white and the indicator LEDs will come on. Currently that's set for 400. You can change it to anywhere between 0 and 1000 RPM. I'm going to change this one to 500. The next menu item is hysteresis. Currently that is set to 0. This is a value that can be set anywhere from 0 to 50 RPM and it is a buffer RPM for where the indicator lights and the dial will change color. If you're getting drivers that are complaining about um, flickering lights or uh, the, the lights are changing colors when they think that the RPM is staying consistent, Really what you're seeing is we're picking up minor fluctuations in the tax signal and you may want to set that. We've typically found that between 5 and 10 will allow you to keep the resolution to indicate the pit road speed and also to minimize the amount of flicker. Now that we've updated this tack, the next menu item that you'll see is STTD which stands for Store TAC Data. If you hit the enter button, the data that you've entered into that PIC is now stored in the internal memory of the PIC and can be unplugged and taken to the next vehicle. And then you can go to the recall function when you plug it into the next TAC, recall the data from the PIC that you've just programmed and then update it automatically into the TAC without having to go through each of those set points and menu items. We've made several changes to the button interface on the pit road speed tech. The first is the peak recall and clear. The previous versions you had to hold down the top button to display your peak and then push the bottom button to clear it. That has all been replaced with using the top button. Single push will show the peak RPM value for five seconds. Pushing that button while it's showing the peak will clear it. And then the tack will go back to its normal RPM reading. The middle button on the tack face now has a dimming feature in it. As you toggle between presses of the middle button, the lights will get dimmer and then go back to full bright. The bottom button is also used to capture a new pit road speed RPM. Single press of the bottom button will change the pit road speed RPM to the current RPM value. We've also added a feature where below 3000 RPM 
and above 6,000 RPM, the bottom button is disabled so that you won't accidentally capture uh, a pit road speed RPM outside of those ranges. Another feature that was recently added to the functionality of the TAC is to choose whether you are capturing the top or the bottom of the GO band. Um, the units come factory set to uh, the capture button toggles between the two different color modes at the top of the GO band. Now you can change that to the bottom of the GO band which would then allow you to pre-program the five mile per hour offset for the grace, uh, grace speed that NASCAR allows. In order to do that, as you can see here when I push the bottom button, that is the threshold between green and red. Now if you go into the pick controller in the main menu, there is a CPOS option. There is a top go and a bottom go option. If I were to change that to the bottom of the go and then I update the tack, it will change the lighting sequence. We've covered a lot of information today, so I'd like to briefly summarize some of the changes that we've made to the tack. One of the first major changes is the change to the button interface on the TAC. Now the top button controls peak recall and clear all in the same button. The middle button functions as a proportional dimming feature in the TAC face. And then we've also changed the bottom button which is your capture pit road speed button so that above 6,000 and below 3,000 that button does not function. We've also changed the wiring so that there's a pass-through connector in the PIC wire harness and you get your power ground and tack signal from a connector rather than wires hard soldered to the PCB inside the case. We've also added an option in the PIC controller to change from the traffic light sequence to the standard lighting sequence. And then we've also added a progressive lead in to your shift point and then the other thing that has been added is a hysteresis setting which basically will allow you to get rid of flickering LEDs uh, due to our one RPM resolution in our digital circuit. And briefly I'd like to summarize the menus from the PIC. First one that comes up when you plug a TAC into it is RTD which is read TAC data followed by peak which will show and clear your peak RPM. Shift point menu will allow you to set your pit road speed shift point, your high shift point, and then also your overworn shift point. PPR, which will allow you to set up for different cylinder counts, which you will not use. Bands, which will allow you to set the low, go, high, and too high bands, as well as the progressive shift point, lead in, band and your hysteresis setting. The capture position menu will allow you to tell the tech whether you're capturing at the bottom of the go band or the top of the go band with both the bottom button on the tack face and your pit road speed setting within the pick. The traffic light menu will allow you to toggle between traffic light on and traffic light off, which is basically just the lighting order in your pit road speed bands. Update tack, very important that once you set all of the parameters in the pick that you need to update that into the tack in order for it to take effect. The store tack data, as we've mentioned earlier, allows you to take the settings that you've set in the PIC and store them into the internal memory, followed by the recall function which will allow you to recall the stored data from the PIC to easily update it into another tech. And that is it for our educational video on setting up the pit road speed tech and we hope that it is an easy process for you in the future.